as we get closer to the upcoming presidential election, we have to talk about the current state of the race. What is up, uh, people of the internet? It is me, Real American, back again with a new video and today. We have to talk about the 2024 presidential election because there's a lot of question marks surrounding the current state of the race. Some people are beginning to say it's all over for Trump. He has no pathway to victory. Others are just outright saying that Harris is going to win in a landslide. And not just Democrats, by the way. We have people that I respect on the right saying that it's over for Trump. It's time to doom. We're going to lose the presidency. I want to be clear about one thing. I am not predicting a Trump landslide. Far from it. I think at the end of the day, I think it's going to be a close election no matter who wins the presidency. And I can even understand how people could argue Kamala Harris could be the favorite. I'm not denying that as a possibility. I just believe right now, Trump is the favorite. But there's a difference between saying, oh yeah, Harris might be the favorite, and then just outright saying, Welp, it's over for the orange man. He's going to lose in a landslide. He's down by 15 points. It's all over. That's what I have a problem with. And I decided, you know what? Let's look at the current state of the race. What do the polls actually show? What's the voter registration? What's, what's the current state of the race? Because I think there's a lot of misinformation going around. And some people that I respect, they're falling for it. Nothing against them. This is not an attack on anyone. I just want to get the information out to everyone to show where the race really stands. And you can make your own opinions as to what this means for the upcoming election. I still think at the end of the day, Trump's a favorite. I think he's going to win the presidency, not by 50 points, but I think right now he's a favorite. Now, the dooming really started when this poll dropped. Harris X. For those that don't know, this was the same poll back in June, July, August, or yeah, June, July, August, I think even May. They had Trump beating Joe and Harris by a lot. It was like Trump plus eight, Trump plus seven, Trump plus six. Hell, their last poll was like Trump plus two. But now they found Harris plus four. That's their current poll. And everyone lost their freaking minds. That's when everyone began to doom about the presidency. Everyone began to say it's all over for Trump. Kamala Harris has momentum. She's going to win by 50 points. It's officially over. The Trump campaign has no pathway. That's what they began to say because of one poll. And you could argue it was other polls as well, but this was really the poll that made everyone lose their freaking minds. Now, I'm not going to say that all polls are fake. Saying that's bullshit. But let's just look at this poll. Let's see what it says. Okay, they're claiming Trump is winning just below 30% of the black vote. Yeah, with leaners. Trump is getting just under 30% of the black vote. Just under 48% of the Hispanic vote. But by some miracle, the white vote shifted like six or seven points. Yeah, the entirety of Harris's lead comes not from a surge in black turnout or even Hispanic turnout. It comes from white swinging like six, seven points Democrat. Compare this to their prior poll, by the way, where they had Trump winning the white vote by 18 points. That means, according to Harris, that's a 12-point shift towards, funny enough, Harris in just two months. Yet, no movement among African Americans or Hispanic voters. Do you see the problem here? The entire shift comes from white voters. Does anyone really believe that? I'm being dead serious. Does anyone really believe white voters in the span of two to three months shifted, what was it, 12 points Democrat? I call bullshit. And you look at the rest of the poll that they've just released, you realize immediately, oh, wait a minute, there's some big problems. For starters, independents are basically tied. But by some miracle, Trump is down by four? For those that don't know, back in 2020, Trump lost independence by like 14 points. So by some miracle, independence shifted like, what is that? 10 points Republican in just four years. And not only that, you have Hispanic voters shifting Republican, black voters shifting Republican. The only demographic that shifts Democrat, according to this poll, are Trump voters. 
according to Harris X, you could argue the entire swing towards Harris comes from 2020 Trump voters or just partisan Republicans. And when you compare that to their prior poll, you realize, oh, wait a minute. Harris somehow doubled her support among Republican voters. Does anyone really believe that? I'm not saying Harris X faked their numbers. I'm not saying that at all. But this screams some kind of response bias. Does anyone really believe Trump is going to lose 11% of Republicans? Fine, independents are tied. That's one thing. But if Harris's entire lead comes from Republicans, that's a lead that's not going to hold. That's going to go away very fast. I just cannot believe that that's what the poll shows. He's losing by some miracle 11% of Republican voters. Is it possible? I guess. I guess it's entirely possible that Trump by some miracle loses 11% of Republicans. Fine, I guess that's a possibility. It's very unlikely, but sure, why not? But okay, let's just say the poll is fine. There's nothing wrong here. It's perfectly normal that Trump is losing 11% of Republicans. Well, if we go to the RCP average right now, it's currently Harris plus two. Yes, the Harris X poll is included. Yeah, it's only Harris plus two, which by most accounts would be a Trump victory. So people are panicking about a couple polls that are kind of bad for Trump. Like, okay, Harris X is a relatively speaking decent pollster and they have Harris up by four. Okay, that might be some cause for concern. But at the same time, Morning Consult has a Harris plus six. Yahoo News, Harris plus six. Ipsos, Harris plus four. Very shitty polls that have her up by four or six points. While good ones like Atlas Intel, they found Trump up by three. So a lot of shitty polls are inflating the average for Harris, but even then, she's up by only two points. That's with a lot of trash polls in the average. That's the biggest problem with this theory that, oh, Trump is actually down by 15 points. In reality, no. The average right now is roughly Paris plus two. And even if you get rid of the Trump plus three from Atlas Intel, the Trump plus two from Rasmussen, even if you get rid of those, it would still be like Harris plus three. A Harris plus three would be a very close race, but Trump would still be the favorite. That's the biggest problem that some people are having. They're not understanding that Harris plus two, Harris plus three, even Harris plus four, you could argue, is not enough for her to win the Electoral College. That's why I've been saying, yeah, it's Harris plus two in the average right now. But even if there's no polling miss, and in fact, there's a miss in favor of Harris, uh, she's actually up by three or four points. Would that be enough for Trump to lose? At that point, you're talking about Georgia, Wisconsin, Arizona, you know, the states he really needs, and even Pennsylvania being down the wire. It would not mean Trump's down by 15 points in those swing states. It would mean those swing states, if you just swing every state the exact same, would be down the wire. We would not know who won on election night, more than likely. It would be very close. So you're dooming about Trump doing several points better than 2020, even 2016. That's how some people are responding to these polls. Not looking at the prior polls where it's Trump plus, or Biden plus 12 right now. That's what it was back in 2020. There are a bunch of polls at the same time. It was Biden plus 10, Biden plus 9, 8, 7. And the only reason the average wasn't shit was because of Rasmussen, because of good pollsters like uh, Tip, for example. You see the problem? You see the problem with this theory that Trump is actually down? Because even if the Harris X poll is correct, and let's just even off by a point, just one point, Harris plus three is not enough for her to win. And even if you ignore all of that, like, okay, the national polling is going to be spot on, Harris is up by two or three points, even with all that in mind, the current polling average in the swing states indicates a Trump victory. He's up in Arizona, up in Georgia, North Carolina, Pennsylvania. Yet people are doing about this, and that's with states that have big polling misses in favor of Trump, like Michigan and like Wisconsin. Trump's barely down those two states, and if the same polling miss occurs everywhere, 
Trump would be up in Wisconsin, Michigan. He would be crushing Harrison, Pennsylvania, Arizona, probably up in Nevada. That's why I still believe, as of now, Trump's a favorite. The national polling looks really good for him, and not perfect, I'm not denying that. You have good polls like TIPP and even Harris X, they're a decent pollster, they have Trump down by four points. But at the same time, the same shit polls that everyone agrees are garbage, like Ipsos, like Morning Consult, like even Yahoo News, even Data for Progress at times can be bad. They have Harris up by basically the same margin. So what do you say to that? It's the same garbage polls that have been wrong every cycle showing Harris up by 4-6, which is identical to what Tip is finding, to what Harris X is finding. Is it possible these polls are correct? I guess. But the polls showing a Harris lead outside of a select few, and not just a one-point lead, that's nothing. I'm talking about four or five points. The only good ones are Harris X and TIPP, and Harris X, again, is not perfect. They're all right. Start doing the math and you realize, oh, there's a good chance even with the national polling, we see a polling miss. There's a possibility that happens, not by 15 points, but if it's the same pollsters that suck every cycle, is it really crazy to say we could see a miss, even if it's only by a point? And if that's the case, Trump's got it. That's why I'm still confident the national polling, it's only Harris plus two right now in the average, the statewide polling. It's Trump with 281 electoral votes. And that's with some states like Wisconsin with some very shitty polls from Marquette, for example. Just start doing the math. And this same stage was off by like six points back in 2020. Or even, I think it was like seven back in 2016. It was ridiculous. Yet Harris is only up by one point. Does this really look like a Harris landslide? Does this look like Harris is the clear favorite? You could argue maybe it's a 50-50 race. It's a coin flip. Okay, I can understand that to a lesser extent. But to say that Harris is the clear favorite as of now, to just look at the state-by-state -state polling. First of all, that's just wrong. But secondly, it's assuming that the polls are going to be absolutely spot on. No misses happen. It, which is not going to happen. There's going to be some kind of pulling miss. It happens every cycle. It's just a matter of, is it off by one point, which is not really a miss, or is it off by 10 points? Is it off by five? And if it's off by five, well, Trump's winning everywhere. He's winning Wisconsin, up in Michigan, up in Nevada. Minnesota would be way closer than expected. Same thing in Virginia. Is that going to happen? Maybe not, but this is why I'm still confident Trump's going to win. His numbers on paper, yeah, he's down. But even compared to 2020, 2016, this is an improvement compared to those cycles. And on top of that, Trump doesn't need to win the popular vote to even win. So why are people complaining and dooming about a Harris plus two in the RCP average? That's nothing. <laughs> that's nothing. In fact, that's actually good news for Trump. Is it perfect? No. But a Harris plus two probably means Trump is up in Pennsylvania, Georgia, Arizona probably up in Wisconsin, which would be more than enough to win the presidency. But we just got to see what happens. Maybe by some miracle, the polls are all correct and Trump loses. I guess that's possible. But we have two straight cycles where the polls dramatically understated Trump's support that are now saying Harris is barely winning the presidency. She's up by four points, which in terms of the Electoral College is not enough. But anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts, the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Godspeed to all of you.